The current account is the balance of trade between a country and its trading partners, reflecting all payments between countries for goods, services, interest and grants or donations to and from governments and non-government organizations. The current account consists of 1. Trade and goods and services 2. Primary income Income earned by domestic labor and firms in foreign country minus income earned by foreigner labor and firms in a domestic country. 3. Secondary income which are payments in and out of the country for which no returns are expected like donation or disaster relief grants. Current Account Deficits and Exchange Rate a deficit in the current account shows the country is spending more on goods and services than it is earning for exporting goods and services, and that it is borrowing capital from foreign sources to make up the deficit exporting earnings and import expenditure. The excess demand for foreign currency lowers the country's exchange rate until domestic goods and services are cheap enough for foreigners, and foreign assets are too expensive to generate sales for domestic interests. Consequences of a persistent current account deficit 1. Exchange rate As discussed earlier, a persistent current account deficit will lead to a fall in the value of the domestic currency. 2. Another way is to draw on reserves, however if the reserves are run down too rapidly, it may cause a crisis of confidence and foreign investment may withdraw suddenly. Persistent current account deficits will also lead to depletion of foreign exchange reserves. 3. Indebtedness. If the combined balance of payment is in deficit, then the debt would have to be covered by borrowings from abroad or attracting deposits from abroad. It might mean paying more interest to foreigner lenders. 4. Increase in interest rates, with a falling exchange rate. The government might have to take more serious monetary measures such as increasing the interest rates. This will attract foreign currency, however, the higher interest rates means compromising the aggregate demand in the economy. Solutions to Fixing a Persistent Current Account Deficit 1. Devaluation Currency Fixing the domestic currency exchange value at a lower rate and thus making exports more attractive. Moreover, imports will become more expensive, thus diverting consumption to domestic goods. 2. Protectionist measures, reducing imports by levying tariffs and setting up quotas. You can refer to problems related with protectionism in video chapter 37. Free Trade and Protectionism 3. Deflationary fiscal policies, like increasing taxes and reducing government spending and deflationary monetary policies like increasing interest rates. This will lower domestic income and consumers will buy less imports. This however will lower domestic economic growth and increase unemployment. 4. Supply-side policies which include Improvement in technology Improving the education and skill level of its workforce. Providing better infrastructure. Privatization. Deregulation. Current Account Surplus. A current account surplus occurs when the country's exports are more than its imports. This is a desirable condition, however it has its own problem associated with it. A surplus in the long run will lead to the appreciation of the country's currency which will reduce its export competitiveness. Lower domestic consumption, relatively stronger currency will induce people to purchase imported goods and in the long run, it will harm the domestic industry and increase unemployment thereby lowering the economic growth of the country. He balance of Payment the balance of payments is an account of a country's payments to and receipts from the rest of the world. 
It shows the total value of transactions from the following three accounts. 1. Current account. This account monitors funds due to trade flows and earnings flow. 2. Capital account. This account monitors the funds due to long-term investments for multinational firms. 3. Financial account. This account monitors funds due to short-term investments from speculation and activity from the financial markets. Effect of FOP on government. 1. Influences prices of free-floating currencies. 2. Influences nature of regulation of export and import businesses. 3. Impacts on exchange rate. 4. Effects overall savings. 5. May lead to fiscal and monetary actions. 6. Highlights a country's competitive strengths and weaknesses.